What's this? The writing? Hmm. Hieroglyphics, perhaps? No. Might be a butterfly, I suppose. Can't make it out. Well, I'll have to show you, because it took me some time to discover what you're supposed to fold it like this. Still can't see very much there. But I need now a lamp to illuminate, because then it will become very apparent. So I've got a nice strong lamp here. We'll shine it there. Now when I bring this forward in front of the lamp, you look through two layers of paper at a nice silhouette there. And the silhouette is lovers on a seesaw. Here's a boy on the ground offering a bouquet of flowers to his girlfriend who's up in the air on the other end of the seesaw. And I hope she's going to accept the offer because then they can get busy seesawing away on their toy. Very nicely done. Charming idea and yet it looks so different when it's like that. So I've brought along just a few seesaw toys. There aren't many in my collection, but I'm hoping to find more. But I'll see if I can um, raise some interest in some of these ones. This is a very, very, in fact, two of them that I know are definitely German ones. The Germans obviously love seesaws. This one I picked up ooh, 40 years ago, and it's got a charming little idea. You just put this piece together like this, put it in the middle, put it down one ring, and then let go and see what happens. Oh, isn't that sweet? That must be the girl with the bonnet, and he's a boy with a funny little acorn hat. And they're really working hard in getting all the way down. Sometimes you can make it an alter the speed by holding it and steadying it, but you don't need to, just, just leave it to go. Charming idea, isn't it? Very simple little craft toy. Plastic at its best, with a little bit of cloth as well, coming up with a clever, clever idea. And that was from the, probably the first or second time that I went to Nuremberg, back in the late 70s or early 80s. When he reaches the bottom, which is almost there, he does a little extra bit at the bottom. Yes, he'll go one more, and I like that little quiver. They've finally got down at the bottom. They've never actually made a seesaw like this in a, in, a, in, a, in a children's playground. I suppose it's too unstable or something. You'd have to have acrobats on it. And here's the same idea, but just made of plastic, just a little put-together toy, which probably came in one of the kinder eggs, I would think. Charming. It's got two little monkeys, and you lift it up like this, take it all the way up to the top. Oof, don't see. Take you up there, up, 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 up. Two monkeys with bananas. And it seems rather like, rather like the, the, the first one, when you place it on top of it and give it a little push to get it inside, and then down she goes, off you go. Again, I'll try and do it, you know, it's a bit happier when it's held stable, actually. But that's very clever, considering how simply it has been made, and a little kit you put together with about five pieces, a lot of fun for kids to discover how to do it, and then when it finally reaches the bottom, Dig, 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 dig at the end. Very nice little idea, and take it up to the top and do it again. As you see, it's got the actual ladder is in two halves. It's, it's got a, a, a double section to it to make it a longer piece, which is a better idea because you've got more play value there, and it goes on for longer. But that's very sweet. It has to be worked out carefully to make sure that it's actually going to be evenly balanced both sides and go a nice little tick tock, tick tick tock at the end. Keep going, boys. That's right. Wow, they meet the bottom. The last one is a very elaborate one made by Walter Crowell's company at Nuremberg. And again, I bought this very, very early on in my earliest years at the Nuremberg Toy Fair. It's quite elaborate because it's got um, a seesaw that's going to go back and forward, but it's been driven in an extraordinary way with quite high technology. This little coil here, which is, it's, I'll take this off to show, it's got a coil there, which is actually, uh, it's, um, it's one of those bimetal things, which when it's heated, changes its shape, and this is going to swing back and forward like that. It'll swing when it's warm, and then it'll relax when it's cold, and it makes a seesaw. It's extraordinary that it should work. So, and they provide a little night light, and the whole thing comes as a kit. I think it's quite the most elaborately, but um, simple made little toy that I've ever come across from the Germans. Very nicely done. Let's get out to the flame going. And we put it into the middle like here, and then see how well it performs. There we are there. Oh, almost immediately. Look what's happening. It's cold there, well, fairly cold. It comes over, coils back, oh, it's heated up almost immediately. Comes over. And we found, actually, just recently, if we put this on a box, it actually makes for a better performance because it means that the, 
distance that they are travelling up and down on the seesaw is further. So now what's this improvement? It's cooling down, it's curling backwards to its, its rest state. As it comes back, it's got to flip the thing over and whoosh. Almost, almost, almost. Oh, there she goes. And back it goes. Look at that. It's got a bit further to go and I think it makes it work better, don't you? So this is still being made by, well, not by Walter himself, he's passed on a few years ago, but his son, or perhaps his grandson now, who I see every year at Nuremberg, is still offering this as one of their products. A very, very nice little folk toy, but very high quality too, and some interesting science behind it, which makes it a very interesting thing to show people. I've got to search through my collection to see if I can find a few more seesaw toys. I think playground stuff I probably have got. I've got slides and helter-skelters and uh, whirly gigs and things like that. But seesaws is a, is a rarity, I think it is. But these three examples are really quite something. And this is, I think, the best. This is, this is a very, very nice piece of um, engineering. And it's great fun, and it goes on for a long time. It's going to go on for several hours, because that is going to take a long time before that night light goes out, probably two or three hours, I think. But isn't that a cute little device, that? And it's finished so well, too. I must mention to Walter when I see him, or his son, that it's, it's a good idea to have it a little bit higher up, because it makes it perform better when it's got a little bit further to rise and fall each end. Wow, well done, Walter's a lovely company, that. And it makes marvellous stuff.